How's it going everyone? We are back with a new video on the channel and this topic has been sent to me by one of my good friends known as Rom and I did a little bit of sifting through this said topic and oh boy, <laughs> I am going to warn you guys right now that this right here is quite the infuriating tale that we are going to be going through. Now, you might think that at first it's not really that big a deal, you know, this person, you know, she's just being a good Samaritan, but I want you guys to really, really, truly think about what is going to be showcased and talked about here, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below about this. Without further ado, let's begin with this. Now this right here is a three-part TikTok series from Twin Credible Talk, part one, possible human trafficking at Walmart. Let's listen to what she has to say here. I think I just stopped somebody from human trafficking at Walmart. This is what I saw. He had his hand around her waist and was holding her hand when they walked in. It struck me as really odd, but then I left and put my groceries away anyway. I'm sitting there and then just hit me. You have to go back and check on this girl. I go back in and they're in line at the pharmacy. 100% she's giving me hand signals, which I interpret as, I need help. So I approach her and say, hey, you're about my niece's age. What nail polish color do you like better? And then I was like, oh my God, I love your dress top shirt thing that you have going on. Where did you get that? Her dad did the talking the entire time. So at that point, he turns around to talk to the pharmacist. I pull down my mask and I say, do you need help? She said no, really quietly, but that wasn't good enough for me. So I touched her shoulder and I said, are you okay? Do you need help? She said no again, so I had to accept that. So I started to leave and then her dad came after me to confront me. Okay, so first off, I want to acknowledge that there is a thing called a Good Samaritans Act, and that is where if you feel like that there is something bad that's about to happen, then obviously you want to act as a Good Samaritan. Now, let me ask you guys a question here. Do you think that there was anything bad going on in that situation to the point where this lady had to stick her nose in a situation and try to make it seem like that there was human trafficking when it was really a case of a father and a daughter shopping together at a Walmart? I'll let you guys comment down below your thoughts about that. But let's move on to part two. So here's part two, ladies and gentlemen. Part two, dad continues to talk with the pharmacist and I go to a manager who then goes to the pharmacist and confirms that this girl is here with her guardian. So I'm with the manager and the dad slash guardian comes up to me and says, why did you say that to her? And I was playing dumb, like, why did I say what? And then he says, what made you think that she wasn't okay? And I said, you know, it was when you walked in the door and you were holding hands and that looked odd to me. And he says, so I can't hold hands with my daughter? At this point, he was so mad, he just stormed off. I left. I don't know if I did the right thing. I either left this girl and her family really traumatized, or if she is in an unsafe situation, I give her a little bit of confidence so that maybe next time if somebody's there to help, she'll take it. So after listening to that part here, we can understand that the situation pretty much fell against her favor very, very quick. She went from seeming like a good Samaritan to just being a plain annoyance. And it isn't unusual for a parent and their child to hold hands when they are out in public because the parent is doing so likely because they want to make sure that their kid don't run off into danger and that the parent is trying to keep their kid safe. It's not exactly that hard of a concept to wrap your head around there, lady. But not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is part three. Here we go. Part three on possible human trafficking. My conversation with a dad, if you're interested. Dad tells me that his daughter looks a lot older than she actually is. She's only 10. He says her mom does all of the shopping, so they don't know where her shirt's from. But he shows me the tag at the back. And then he proceeds to tell me on his daughter's behalf that I should get the pink nail polish. I just end it with, well, thanks for your help, and then go directly to a manager. So, yeah, there's not really that much I can say in response to this, but my god, I have to say that it seems to me that these 
parents are being put in an even worse position nowadays where they can't even go to public places with their kids to go shopping together without being heckled by passerbyers that try to be good Samaritans, but rather than being an actual good Samaritan, they are being annoying and encroaching on their privacy and encroaching on their right to be in a public place to go shopping of all things like give me a break now i'm actually looking at this lady's tiktok account and she has quite the sizable amount of followers with nearly 125,000 followers so putting out things like this to a rather sizable audience to potentially rile them up and paint a wrong picture that right there is not good, and it could even be construed as an abuse of power and also misleading your audience into something that isn't actually true. Now, a YouTuber by the name of Sensitive Society actually did a video on this about a week ago titled, She Tried to Ruin an Innocent Father's Life for Clout, It Went Wrong and Backfired. And some of the comments in this video really, truly stand out. Let's take a look at some of them. So we have someone by the name of Spark plug commenting this as a black woman with a white husband and mixed race daughter this happens all the time to my husband to the point where he feels awkward going out alone with her because so many people see a white guy and a clearly mixed race kid and think he's a kidnapper I get the concern if a kid genuinely looks scared or asks for help, but just seeing a man and kid together doesn't automatically mean the man is a predator for fuck's sakes, unless it's Kevin Spacey. This comment here comes from Otex. Guess you can't be a good father or a loving father these days without being assumed or accused of shit. Yeah. That's the world we live in, people. It's fucking insane. Bottle Cap comments something that actually really stands out as well. If this lady comes up to me and asks me a bunch of questions while my dad isn't watching, I'd think she could be the kidnapper. And you know what? That is something to take into consideration as well, because it is rather unusual for a complete stranger to come up to a kid and start asking them a bunch of random questions. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I would be a little bit sus about that if that happened. James Dagmon comments, she saw something suspicious, and then she ended up being the only creepy thing in the story. If I was the dad, I would have assumed she she was the kidnapper, coming up to my kid asking weird questions. Again, I absolutely agree with this, and I would be having the same train of thought myself. What the fuck are you doing around my kid asking a bunch of questions? Get out of here. Olaf Gurk comments, he was holding her waist. Shows a picture of the dad holding the girl's shoulder. Woman, you might need to have your eyes checked. Those glasses clearly aren't helping, and you know what? Yeah, that's actually something that I need to point out as well. His hand wasn't around her waist. It was around the shoulders area. My god. Now this comment here stands out to me from Man Fella Fella Man. It's ironic that she talks about seeing signs of possible human trafficking when a woman talking to a child like that randomly is a sign of possible human trafficking. Yeah, you know what? Nothing more to say about that other than the fact that I a million percent agree with that one. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is just a few out of many comments just to show further the absolute insanity this situation is because of that woman trying to paint a false context that this father was a human trafficker when really this father was just trying to have an outing with his father fucking daughter and going shopping together. There's nothing wrong with that. And it honestly just goes to show that this right here is another notch on top of everything else that goes on nowadays when it comes to men being disadvantaged and being looked at the wrong way when they're not even doing anything. Like, this right here is a fine example of a father that was doing absolutely nothing wrong and being accused of being a human trafficker. Like, there's no way 
way you can defend this. But that's all I have to say about this subject right here. I'm not sure if there's anything else that needs to be said. So leave your feedback down below, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to hear you guys out on this situation here. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.